All right, so let's get into the email here and a follow-up from Friday, which was them having this discussion about checking passcodes and passwords. And I know Cassie feels strongly about this. Yeah, so it was a really interesting situation because they gave us this story, but they didn't give us the gender so that we could have an even playing field. Basically, it was a part two, uh, a partner with a boy and a girl, and one of them has their partner's uh, passcodes and um, knows how to get into their email and their phone, but the other doesn't. The other w- was asked, hey, um, the other... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting mixed up because I don't have the genders. But um, one of them was asked for the phone, and they said, "Hey, can I have your passcode so I can get in?" They're like, "Oh no, no, absolutely not." And so we got into this debate whether or not it was like okay for you to refuse to give your partner the passcode. And I feel like we thought it was pretty fair to be able to have your privacy, especially if like it was just a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. I felt like it was a little bit different if you were married. I felt like maybe you should have some kind of level of technological intimacy, but Mm. that's where we left the conversation. Cassie, I just want to get your take on that because I missed it on Friday. And I know you feel strongly about this, right? I do. So I think, um, here's the thing. If you want to share your passcodes, that's fine. But for me, when you get married or in your relationship, it doesn't mean you sacrifice your individuality mm. and you're not allowed full access to me all of the time. You don't get, get to come into my mind and see everything. Now, if you were worried that really that something was going on, I would give you my passcode. But for instance, I've shared my location with my husband because we have kids. And this morning he texted me. He's like, why are you at this medical center? And I'm like, I'm at work. The GPS is messed. And now I'm pissed off. Because I'm like, why are you checking on my location at 6.20 in the morning, Chad? Love you. But still. So it just irritates me because that's what happens. All these weird narratives. You misread stuff. You don't understand stuff. And I just think people deserve their privacy, which a lot of it is on your phone. And that it, it doesn't do any good. Yeah, Chad, that's AI Cassie. The real Cassie's actually at that clinic, but we can't tell you that. <laughs> I was like, did someone steal your phone? I'm like, I'm looking at it. Leave me alone. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the follow-up from Friday. Thanks for all the opinions. Unfortunately, it didn't entirely change the situation. So now I can tell you that it was my boyfriend who was refusing to give me his password. Could have told you that on Friday. <laughs> yeah, I think we all knew that, but nice try. <laughs> we both listened to all your opinions. It did seem to be split down the middle on if one would be offended or bothered by him not sharing his password. Well, after we listened to your segment and opinions, he handed me his phone and told me the code and let me look at anything I wanted. And he didn't know this conversation was coming up. They just had it. And then he said, here, have it. Well, no, I think they both knew. Like, they were having an argument. They both listened to the show. So I think they submitted it to see what we would say. And then they listened to it together. And then after they listened to it together, he handed her the phone. Mm. After he deleted all the messages. Hey. That <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the first place. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was factory reset. <laughs> Why are there no apps on here? Your phone is so clean and streamlined. I was quite surprised. I wasn't looking for anything, and I didn't find anything. Wait, time out. Your partner hands you the phone and says, here, you can look for whatever you want. Do you actually go through and look for stuff? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a snoop. Because who knows when I'm going to get the chance again. Mm-hmm. Um... I don't I, I, know. I wouldn't. No, no. Yeah. Either. I yeah. don't. Y'all are liars. No, no. I swear. If, well. I, if, we, if this happened, if, if I, I'm putting myself and Bart in this situation, going back years when we first started dating, mm-hmm. if he did that and handed me the phone out of pride, I'm not looking through it. And I'd be like, no, I trust you. Just so I'm clear on where they were, there was no like, she didn't have a gut feeling he was doing anything wrong or no. vice versa. Nope. No, no. Okay. She literally just needed his phone to check something, do something, and she had it, couldn't get in. She had you hand it back to him so he could input the code, and then he handed it back to her, which is got what got this whole thing started. Okay, yeah, no, I would not look through it. I wouldn't either. In that case. Now, okay. when he wasn't around... <laughs> And or like he's taking a shower and I know the code, I would go and check the code to see if it still works. And if it still works, it's good. But if it's been changed, we're having issues. Wow. That's fair. (laughs) So I would do that. That's fair. I would do that, but I wouldn't go through the phone. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't looking for anything and I didn't find anything. It was just nice to know that he was willing to share. However, the next day I picked up his phone, typed in the code. Shut up. And it didn't work. Shut up! <laughs> you called it. You called it without calling it. Are we the same person? <laughs> Is this really you and Bart? No. Somebody this? <laughs> Boyfriend. Wow. Okay. All right, so now we got problems. Oh. Yeah, you got to let it linger once you change it for a while. Yeah. He changed the password. When I called him out on it, he said this proved 
that I was wanting it to spy on him because why would I need the code one day later? So he set her up by changing it? That's what it sounds like. I honestly trust him. I can't explain why I like having the access. I guess it just makes me feel closer to him by knowing that I have access <laughs> to his entire world. Oh, girl, no. Now you're just telling yourself. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Well, now that he changed it back, I think I feel worse than never having it to begin with. <laughs> so now the fight continues since he isn't giving in. I need to find a way to just get over it. Yeah, yeah you, you do. do. Yeah. <laughs> Let it go. The Burt Show.